butterfly just broke my net. Oh, okay, that's not gonna do because I definitely need to be able to catch more of those. Aha, uh -huh, I knew I had another net. All right, let's go ahead and get back in my net, you little guy. You sell for so much. I desperately need you. <laughs> All right, there we go. I need these dinks. Do you know how expensive trying to set up a town is, little butterflies? Oh, there's more of them over here. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. And got it. Excellent. I always think that, you know, starting the morning chasing a bunch of bugs is absolutely one of the best things that we can do. But hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome back to Jasper Berry Island here in Dinkum, where we are having a wonderful time catching all of these bugs. Thank you very much. And we're about to go ahead and try a couple new things today because there is a new visitor. It is not Theodore of the, um, of the like animal museum but somebody else and I, they have a little gear for whatever their their little sign is so i definitely want to see what that's going to turn into because maybe they'll be like somebody who can help us with some cool machines but before that i really feel like oh it's the kangaroo oh i wasn't sure what that was for a second it just looks so cool but before we go ahead and we actually work with the visitor, I wanted to do a little bit of morning collecting so that when John goes into his shop, we are ready to go ahead and make a bit of a morning haul of dinks. Uh, and then let's see what we need to do today. Chat with three residents, dig up dirt three times. I could probably go ahead and plant three more banana trees if that's the case and craft two items. So I'm pretty sure I can do all of those things no problem. Oh, did we? Oh, and we got the bug catcher one, and nice. And we might check and see if we have enough licenses now that we can maybe get something special. Um, but, all right, did John go inside? What time does he wake up, or what time does he open again? 8 a.m., all right, so John is indeed open. I guess I should chat with everyone first. Oh, it's another copper bar. Maybe I could go ahead and make that grinder today. Oh, there's just so many things. Wait, what's this? That's the machine manual. Tells you what can go into a machine. Well, oh, okay. I don't have that many dinks, John, but I appreciate your confidence in me. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? Let's see if he wants any of the things we caught first. Oh, Siri, you have a mining license, right? Think you could help me out and rustle up a bag of cement? It would really help me out. All right, we can go ahead and do that. I actually have a bag of cement over in our crafting area that's like ready to go. And then let's do a little chat. The secret to trading is to buy low and sell high. I probably should have sold you that information, <laughs> Sean. All right, I kind of love how he seems to be pretty like obvious about like yeah i'm kind of overcharging you but them's the brakes huh all right and then we're gonna sell him this cockroach and then the butterfly and what's he gonna offer four thousand dinks okay don't know if that's really gonna be helping us to make a lot of progress but you gotta take what you got oh chatterbox being friendly and making friends in town is an adventure on its own be sure to chat with everyone every day you might learn something that's adorable. All right, well, oh, hey, and I still have a butterfly. I'll have to sell that to him in just a second. And before we go in, let me actually rearrange everything over here. There we go. I don't think I need to use the metal detector like this second. I have figured out how to fish, however. Whoops, okay. Showing up at a new person's tent with like a scythe, I feel sends perhaps the wrong message. And I might wanna do some planting. Oh, that's right, let's go buy some more bananas really quickly. I know I'm like pushing off visiting the new person, but I always feel like, oh, did these go up? I don't think bananas were 4,000 or 400 or almost 500 dinks the other day, John. You're lucky I need these for license points. I'm sus about this, friends. All right, so what do we have here? Visitor's site. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hi! A scientist! Introduce yourself, my friend. Franklin, huh? Oh, hello. My name is Franklin. I'm here to research the old technology buried here on Jasperberry. You see, South City has some pretty strict rules about what's allowed to be researched there. 
But here on Jasperberry, it would appear there are no such restrictions. Oh dear. Well, I mean, that might be a good thing. If you discover any shiny disc, please bring it to me. You see, I believe the information on each shiny disc will help me make further discoveries. I will pay you very generously for each shiny disc you deliver to me. Oh, and I also sell blueprints for some basic recipes. Siri, is it? Yes, I hope you will not be interrupting me too much, Siri. Oh my gosh, all right. Let's actually go get her those shiny discs. She wants shiny disc, I have shiny disc. I think we can help each other out here. Also, the dingoes are having like a, a pool party back there, which is freaking adorable. And let's also go ahead and plant these bananas really quickly. All right, let's see. I want to, yeet, there we go. Did I pick up, Oh man, I picked up the banana. I didn't actually want to pick up the banana. Wait. It worked the other day. Was that the wrong type of dirt to be able to go ahead and like bury the banana? Oh no, there we go, there we go. All right, maybe you did have to have a certain type of dirt. Hey, I think my palm trees are done growing. Neat. All right, and then you just eat the banana in the hole. You cover it up. And then hopefully we can come back in a little bit here. And we will have some banana trees. All right, did that take care of the, yep, dig up dirt three times, excellent. Woo, all right, and I really need to be catching all of these butterflies because they do seem to sell for a lot of dinks. They're just the best bet that I have at making dinks so far. All right, Ooh, oh, there's a little sign, or there's a, something here, Bug Tipster, from Bug Tipster. Two Siri, Bug Tips for Summer. Oh, is it summer? It is summer, that's right, we started in summer. It was early mornings, there was a bug in the bushlands I'd never seen before. Thought you might like to know, from Bug Tipster. Interesting, and then we already saw the mail from John about the dress I'm wearing. Okay, okay, and then let's see. So here's the two shiny discs we've found so far. It makes me wonder if we should actually spend the day doing some metal detecting and taking whatever we find here to Franklin. Hey, Franklin. Yes, we've got some discs. The excellent, those shiny discs have very interesting information on them. And we'll donate. These are fascinating. I can learn a lot from these. I will offer you <gasps> 17,000 dinks. Are you kidding me? Now I have information to extract. Each one of these shiny discs could contain a wealth of knowledge. Hmm. Oh, I have a great idea for a new invention. Please come and speak to me if you're interested. Yes, I am. Uh, so let's chat. Uh, what's up? After I start a project, my brain is constantly working on it. Right now I'm actually imagining working on something quite interesting. Oh, and I have this conversation with, and I'm having this conversation with you too, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Franklin. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's do, I want to chat and then got a job for me. Oh, Siri, you have a logging license, right? Think you could help me out and rustle up three gumwood plank? It would really help me out. No problem. In fact, do I happen to have, I do not have them on me, but I can get them for you, Franklin. For now, can you make me something? Let me show you what I can craft. Please do not waste my time. A bomb! Oh! Well, then. Didn't expect that. But it's interesting. There's a weather station. There's a repair table to repair damage tools with repair kits. A lawn mower that will stop grass from growing back. Okay. A bomb. You know what? What about the weather station? Smooth slate. Oh my gosh. What do you need for a bomb? Fertilizer? Sugar? Good gravy. Like, I, I, I could rustle up the stuff for the repair table, but like commissioning that would be a little bit of a headache and a half. Okay, so with all of that said, I think maybe we could do a little bit of treasure hunting today because Franklin is willing to pay us a lot of moolah. Uh, and is there anything I need to buy from John? Let's dash back in there real quick. Does he have anything I really, 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 really need for this many dinks at the moment? The mine pass would be amazing. Unfortunately, I can't sell that to you until you have a deep mining license. Okay, we're gonna see if we can actually make this deep mining license happen because if I could get my hands on a whole heckin' lot more, 
Hello, Fletch. If I could get my hands on a lot more of the, um, yeah, let me think this through. On a lot more of the metal, we could definitely be building more things, like fences to keep the crocodiles away. All right, so I'm gonna apply for a license. Let's see, we can do metal detecting, allows the holder to notice some buried item using sight alone, handling, cargo, tool belt, building with windmills. Then there is the piloting of water. Now that I know what the metal detecting can do, I feel like I am gonna hold off on spending any of my licensing points until we can get the metal detecting done. So by process of elimination, friends, I think we're gonna go digging. Let's see. Yeah, we'll try this out for a little bit. All right, work metal detector. Bring me more shiny discs. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, so that actually started working pretty quick. Whoops, I need that old gear, please. All right, is that all? Oh man, okay, so there's something right here. An old key. Oh, I wonder how useful that is. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of metal hidden away under here. Hey, it's one of those big old barrels. I always like seeing those things because you, you smack them apart and then you get cool stuff from them. Okay, let's see, let's try smacking it with the pickaxe. That might get me a little further. All right, tin sheet, old gear. Useful, useful, old spring. And then we'll return the dirt to what it was. There's a lot of stuff just right over here. Do I need to be collecting anything else right now? Kinda need more of... Oh! How dare these freaking crocodiles! Using my little bridge! I didn't mean to make a crocodile bridge. That I'm, I'm a little sore about, not gonna lie. Hey dingoes. Oh, here we go. Oh, good, another one of these things. Two shiny discs isn't a lot, but green board, hot cylinder, tin sheet. And there's just the quietest little beeping that you follow. Oh, here we go. Yes, okay, this is actually really cool because any of these could have some of the rare treasure we need. All right, smooth, hey, that's the smooth slate I was just thinking about. I think that this is actually gonna be a lot more useful than I thought. Hmm. Oop, 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 oop. All right, all right. All right, there's a lot of, I think maybe the beach has just a ton of these barrels. Trash from South City, perhaps. Old wheel, old gear, old spring. Whoa. Okay, and then there's another one right here. Old key. I am suspicious about those keys. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of stuff over here. But with as much money as she's offering us in dinks for those shiny discs, and the fact that she doesn't exactly like live here, I don't think a day treasure hunting is gonna go much to waste. Oh, here we go again. Old gear. Oh, what did we find now? Archaeology. There's stuff, uh, there is stuff everywhere underground. Here's a milestone for digging treasure up. Yay! This is actually really fun. And I can come collect this fly I needed to pick up anyway. All right, nothing over here and that'll give me a little time to collect some of this. Oh no! I didn't realize I was getting tired and all I have to eat still is just key limes. All right, oh hey, well at least we got the super taster. And then we're getting a little bit closer to being able to go ahead and have all of the, the license points that we need. I don't know like if the, the mining is maybe the best way to go, but we're gonna try. All right, let's catch this guy. And then let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so there's something here. Yay! 
Man, we are digging up a lot of buried treasure. This is cool. I guess while we're at it, we could pick up old keys, huh? Like, while we're at it, we can pick up these sand dollars and some of the other things. Whoa, 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 where am I going? Right here? Yep, right here. Okay. What happens if I do that next to the water? Hey, the water fills in. Interesting. Also, if the visitor center close or the visitor's tent closes at four, I'll probably want to head back. Except, like, if we don't have anything to offer her, it's not like we're going to lose anything if we miss out on hanging out with her the rest of the night. Gotta think about that. Oh, hey, some 10! Right? I think this is 10. We'll definitely need that. There we go. So that we can start making more tin ore. I don't think I have enough energy to be able to snag. Oh, but I did want to become friends with her by giving her one of the, the gifts. Oh, fudge. Okay, so we do want to head back in. All right, get in my net, little butterfly. Thank you. All right, we've got to gather up all of these flowers. I think I left one behind, but that's just going to have to be how it is some days. And I need to grab those gum logs for her and offer those in trade. So let's see, my gum logs right over here. Knew I had a few of them. And then I'm gonna put away the gum nuts for now. Okay, we'll put those in something else. But now we have a ton of old gears, a ton of old keys. We've got a sliding handle, old wheel, smooth slate, hot cylinders, green board. We've also got old springs. And we have a ton of tin sheets, which is super useful. So I'm really happy with all of that. Now I need to bring over like one of my bags of cement. And I didn't even ask Fletch what she wanted today. Feel a little bit badly about that. All right, let's move fast. All right, Franklin? Uh, let's see. So Franklin, you're still crafting bombs and all the other stuff, which is cool, but I don't think I can use. And then this is for you. Let's actually see, potentially, what we might be able to get in terms of gifts from Franklin. Alright, what do we get? We received- oh, some brown sandals! Thank you! I mean, I'm not going to complain if I'm able to get myself some nice clothes. Thank you very much. And if I don't have the deep mining license, I wonder- I think- you know what? We're going to buy that other copper bar just in case? Well, can I craft my own copper bar now? Let's actually see if we can make our own copper bar. I think that that would be good. Uh, all right, so let's chat. Hey, John, don't kick me out. Here you go. I guess I could have given you this bag of cement at any point. Bonza, he says. That's so cool. Okay, there you go. And then what are we gonna get from him? Because I wonder, <gasps> a new crafting recipe. You can get new crafting recipes from people. That's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and sell them a few more of the goods that we got. And then we'll sell this and this. And then I could just go ahead and sell some of the bags of cement, but we'll hold on to those for now just because. All right. Well, let's see, 3,000 dinks. I mean, we're getting closer. Oh, hey, nice entrepreneur. <gasps> we have enough. All right, John, I'm not going to buy your bar tonight. Fletch, no! <laughs> I was going to be able to go ahead and actually unlock some of the stuff, but she's like done being, uh, done being like the boss today. Jasperberry has lots of different ecosystems for such a small area. If I remember correctly, my old home was located in the northwest, or maybe it was the southeast. Hmm. I'll tell you what, when I remember, I'll let you know. Thanks, Fletch. Good day, Siri. What do you need? So, do you need anything today, Fletch? You have a mining license, right? Think rustle up a copper bar. <laughs> I needed that, Fletch! I can't believe, like, just as we finally gathered up enough copper ore that I could go ahead and have my own copper bar made. She's like, so, heard you were trying to make yourself your own copper bar, eh? Let me just fix that for ya. All right, yeah, you need five of those in order to go ahead and get a copper bar. So this woman's trying to move it on my, my very hard to access copper, but I guess we know where there's a little bit more. And now that I've got a little bit of like cooked food, 
Here, let's actually do a little bit of finagling over here. I'm going to put on my new shoes. Let's put down some of the useful things. There we go. Cook another bush lime while I go past. There we go. And I guess I'll eat a cooked bush lime. I don't know how filling it is, but it gave me a ton of energy. So I can use that energy to go and get a little bit more copper bars. Uh, and I think that would give me two copper bars now, right? Yeah, when this one's done, that'll give me two copper bars. Oh. Oh. And then the gum nut. There we go. Aha! So now I have two copper bars. And what I want to do is actually craft myself... You know what? Fletch is going to have to wait. Because I want to craft myself something special. With the grain mill. So let's track this recipe. We need old gears, old wheel, and the gumwood planks. Got it. I'm so glad there's a recipe tracker. So let's see. No, 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 no. Come back here. I don't want that thing. All right, put those away. I had this all neatly sorted, but alas. All right, let's put that away. I should probably put the gum nuts in another spot. Then we have the copper. So I need one of the old wheels. And then I think I need three old gears, was it? Four old gears and four gumwood planks. So four old gears. And then I need four gumwood planks. All right, we're going to craft this thing because I'm curious about it. Grain mill. Turn seeds and grains into other things. Yay! Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, hello, little dog. So now I can apparently turn seeds into things. So let me grab some seeds because I'm curious about this. I really hope this is not the moment that a hungry crocodile decides to mess with me because that would be a little annoying. All right, there's the ball of wood. And then we'll also put away our red flats. Oh, I like my brown sandals. They really do look different. All right, and then these seeds requires 10. Ooh, okay. I have no problem cutting down more grass. I'm getting very curious about this, actually. Okay, so let's see. Some of the grass around here. Watch out, puppies. All right, there's seven. No, my bush. Oh, I should have been more careful. All right, you want to use caution when swinging a scythe, I think. So what happens once you get 10? All right, so there's 10 grass seeds. I'm gonna add it in here and we'll have to see what it spits out if you give it grass seeds. Meanwhile, is it late enough? Okay, I don't know when Fletch goes to sleep, but I'm all full on energy and I know where to find some more of... Is that a fox? No, I think it's a dingo again. <gasps> oh, look! It's a firefly! I don't have one of those guys yet. I love fireflies! Gosh, I mean, on the one hand, that's awesome, and on the other hand, it does mean that different kinds of creatures come out at different times of day. Oh! Like a crocodile! Yeah, I think crocodiles are actually more active at night, too, so... Ooh, and a cricket! All right, maybe I'm not gonna find as much copper as I was hoping, but if I can find four pieces, aha, then I'll be able to make another copper bar. I still think that's ridiculous of Fletch to ask for something so expensive, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, what do we have over here? Anything? Okay, just some stones. There's some Rupu again, which I'm pretty sure you'll be able to turn into fertilizer eventually. So even though it's weird, I'm going to collect it. And then, I guess... I, I really love this metal detector. Oh, hey! We found something again! <gasps> A shiny disc! Oh my gosh. Well, I don't think that Franklin will talk to us anymore because it's too late at night. But maybe I'm wrong. 
Because if I can get more of that, like, chunk and money... Hey, Franklin! That might work. Oh, Siri! What is it? There really is a rare butterfly called the birdwing butterfly. I would love to see one someone one day. Alright, so yeah, Franklin... Sometimes I miss that giant flaming ball in the sky. But the evening is inevitable. Uh, do you have a job for me, Franklin? Actually... Oh, wait, I already did that. I'm good. Thanks, Siri. Okay, so she's actually good. And then Fletch. Let me get Fletch's copper bar. I love fireflies. Oh, wow, and the grain mill is still going? So that begs the question of, like, how long does it take? Because a lot of these other things finish up pretty quickly. There we go. But we'll give Fletch the copper bar, and we will call it a day, friends. I wonder if that means I should be working on some of the other things. Oh, and I should probably make another 10 bar. But I'm only going to need five of those for that. We'll put that there. Let's see. And then I've got some stones. And now I have some shiny discs. Now that I know what those are for, I'll leave the shiny discs over here. Put the Rupu away. And let's see. Do I want to take care of anything else around? Oh! It becomes animal food! Oh, that's going to be very useful. Farm animals can munch on this when I have farm animals, which is not at this exact moment, but hey. All right, and you know what? If I'm going to be... I need to craft something to get the last of my license points today. So let's craft a bunch of wooden torches. Because that seems like something very good to have in mass. <laughs> Ooh, and there's the copper bar. Okay, and we'll put away the tin ore. And we'll wrap up the night by going ahead and giving this to Fletch. Also, maybe I should <laughs> bequeath upon our villagers uh, some things to be able to see with. Alright, they can have a few copper bars. They gotta make sure not to get na- or not copper bars, pardon me. Oh, what happened over here? I think one of the kangaroos got eaten, friends! <laughs> All right, I'm going to need to make, like, more paths and things to start connecting stuff up, but I love it. I love it. For now, at least I can put down some torches. Whoops. To begin defining, whoops, like, where all of the different areas are. There. Might want to start removing some of the bones, too, but that's okay. You can only do so much at once. All right, Fletch. Fletch, 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 please. Aha! All right, let's catch her before she goes to bed, and then we'll go to bed ourselves, friends. Good day, Siri. What do you need? Here you go, Fletch. Extremely expensive copper bar. All right. And we'll go ahead and give this to her. Wow, you really found a copper bar. You're the best, Siri. I really owe you one. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Yay! Oh, we got money! <laughs> Okay, I will accept money in the lieu of like everything else and now we just got more helpful friend license points All the better to get to the deep mind with my dear All right, but now that all of that is done. Let's go to bed Nice day. We actually accomplished a lot Working on our bug catching I think once you get to like level 5 and 10 then new things happen for you which would be useful. Oh, hey! And even though I don't have any animals, I can definitely work on getting the farming skill up just by making seeds. Sweet! Wheelbarrows can carry other items besides dirt. <gasps> you don't say. Oh, is it raining? It's raining! Okay, this is cool. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today as we begin another beautiful day here in Jasperberry Island. No guests today, it seems, so maybe we'll have to occupy ourselves. But if you guys could, do please leave a like for our little growing village establishment, as surreal as it is. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.